MovieWeb.com. Can you kind of tell me <laughs> about your character and exactly what the costume is you're wearing? Um, this is a renaissance... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, my character's Nick. Um, he's uh, very... Immature um, young man who who creates this facade to um, impress the people he meets on the internet, and um, you know I, I kind of took him in and created this this backstory for him, um, just as a place to go throughout the film. Of um, you know he's that guy in high school that was was somewhat socially inept, and um, you know goes home after school and sits in his basement and tries to meet friends on the internet because he can't make them anywhere else, and um, pretends to be these these people. Um, that other people want him to be, that he thinks is cool or whatnot, and um, he meets a girl named Kayla, which is the uh, plays my girlfriend in the movie, who we end up meeting for the first time, and going on this road trip, and um, you know, it's 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 interesting because he comes off as this this rock star badass, you know, who doesn't give a crap about anybody else, and you know, says what he says, and. You know, I, you know, no apologies for it, and um, you know, and then and then makes that transition back as things become more and more intense, and he slowly sheds the facade, and um, you get to see his true colors, and um, it's it's a very co cool transition throughout the movie. Well, you mentioned earlier that he's a closet internet fan. Yeah. Now, does yeah. that come into play at any time during the film? Like, you use the internet to kind of no, the no, um, it's um more or less this is just where I wanted to to create um, that that character and I needed to give him a, um, some history in my head to um, figure out how how to make that transition in the movie and um, it just made the most sense to me through the people that I've met throughout my life and you know the you know family members or whatnot and drawing from that and um, and, and finding that that part of his character and, and making it as real and as, as possible. Now, how do you come in contact with Rusty Nail? For the first time, um, he contacts us on a CB radio that's installed in um, a car that we've we've stolen from his his property, and um, he he kidnaps one of one of the characters in the movie, um, Bobby, and um, we we've, we've invaded his his privacy and his property and stolen from him and. Um, in return, he's kidnapped one of our friends and um, starts demanding outrageous things, and um, it's a uh, it's it's a joyride from there. Now, did you guys get to have your own like, cool CB handle in the film? Um, I, I use a CB once in the film. Um, Melissa's boyfriend Bobby is the person who gets kidnapped, and um, that's where you have very very strong actor, strong woman, um, Nikki Acox, um Playing this this you know woman at her wit's end who's who's stepping up to the plate and um, taking control of the scenes and um, taking control of the situation and um, whereas my character being antisocial and you know a big phony um, starts to shed his own you know uh, Mr. Dress Up and um, you start to see his true colors. Well, we see the truck in the background here. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. do you and the truck have any scenes together? Yeah, we've got a few scenes together. <laughs> uh huh. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, 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 I get to meet Rusty now face to face. I get to, um, I have a bunch of scenes with him. Um, I suppose you could say I have a bunch of scenes with the truck. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's all black. It's kind of somewhat intimidating and. Now, I don't know if you've ever driven across the states or done a bunch of night driving, but when you see a transport truck barreling up behind you, your heart beats a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So is is there a chance you get to drive the truck? I don't get to drive the truck. Um, that'd be pretty cool, but um, Nikki does. Yeah. Now, have you had a, like a scene that you've just loved that you've shot already that you love doing? Um, I guess there's, there's been two, and I think I, I like them so much because um, they're completely different and they contrast each other so well. Um, one's, a, one's a very funny scene that takes place in the diner um, where I, I, I go off on truckers and how they're gacked out speed freaks whose only hope for companionship is a disease ridden hooker. And, you know, and I stand up in the middle of a truck stop, um, rest stop in a restaurant, and say that very much out loud 
to <laughs> a bunch of patrons sitting in this restaurant who are all truck truckers and it's very cool and it's very uh you know like oh crap what's exactly going to happen here and uh and then there's uh then there's a torture scene at the end where um you know you have this kid who's probably left town small town for the first time in his life who's on this adventure and pretending to be this something he's not who's lost it and you know he's you know he, he knows he's going to die and you know he, it's it's very real and it's very intense and um just the two are so different i think it's very cool now have you been involved personally in a lot of the car chases um yeah i mean we have a lot of shoot we have a lot of shots in the car um we have a lot of scenes in the car we have a lot of you know you know, we're trying to figure out where Rusty is, and we have all these different stop-offs and everything. And you know, shooting in a car, in a car is actually pretty interesting. It's uh, it's not hard to do. It's but it's it's different from 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 you know being stuck in a box and um, driving up and down streets a million times, and you know you know matching continuity to the backgrounds and everything else. But yeah, no supercar chases. Uh, I know I know. Uh, Mullis and Kayla have got one of the coolest ones that, that ends in a very exciting way, so that'll be cool. Okay, great. Well, 